we got the big boys now, and uh, I'm really excited. So, out of five, I'm definitely giving this a five. Shout out the best. <laughs> and welcome back to another vlog with your boy James Lee Grice that's me oh no to be honest with you guys it's actually the afternoon I just say Morena because I don't know I just say Morena it just sounds better but anyways it's late in the afternoon I've had issues with the internet power everything that you can imagine a vlogger needs I don't have it but I've got it now the vlogs are uploading things are being done which is fantastic now, today's vlog, I didn't have much plan, but I just had a genius idea. Why aren't more people intelligent like me? In one of my vlogs, I said to you guys that I'll show you what a burger field burger looks like. Now, for those who live in New Zealand, that's fine. You already know what it looks like. Maybe you don't, but that's not all, guys. In Sylvia Park, they've just opened up a new better burger. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review both of them and see if better burger is actually better. I'm going to put two burgers up from Burger Fuel up against two burgers from Better Burger to see which one is actually better and if better burger is actually better because that's a pretty bold statement especially when you've got Burger Fuel around here. Now for those that don't have a Burger Fuel around I'm very sorry you probably need to fly to either Dubai or America I know they've just opened one up in America but guys if you're ever in New Zealand make sure you get oh, something in my eye. Make sure you guys do get a Burger Field Burger. It is one of the best. I will be joined by my friend Nathan, who's going to help me with today's vlog, just because it is a tradition for him and I to go on these little Burger Field dates. Ha! <laughs> so, yeah! Let's just get today started, shall we? So that's those two done. Not bad price, about $15 per burger, but definitely worth the money. The one thing you should definitely try if you come to Burger Fuel is their motorbikes. While I wait for my food, I'll just do a quick transition to there so you guys don't have to wait around with me. All right, see you at Better Burger. All right guys, we're down here at Sylvia Park now and I'm gonna go and pick up the Better Burgers. Now, I've never tried Better Burger before. A lot of people do say good things about it, but uh, I don't know, man. Burger fuels where it's at though. It's busy as down here, but uh, yeah, looks like it's gonna be a bit of a wait. Alright, guys, so I'm joined here with Nathan. We're about to try Better Burger for the first time. Have you ever tried it, Nate? Nope. Excellent. Well, that's good for me and good for the vlog, isn't it, guys? Guys? <laughs> Are you still there? <laughs> There's the response there. Comment if you're still here. Mm. So we got two double cheeseburgers and we got two American muscles. Yeah, that's right. Our faces are about to be f <laughs> But that's okay guys because the power of magic we can just get rid of our pimples like that if we wanted to. Hey. Yep. No, we can't. Guys, we're going to get straight into this now. Cue the epic montage. <laughs> We've got both burgers here guys. You can see the size difference of them. Now there is a huge cost difference. The better burger was $7 for one burger. American Double was $15 per burger. So you can see that you can get two of those burgers for the price of one of these. But is the quality the same? And is it actually a better burger as they say they are? Nate, you get to choose. What do you want to choose first? Do you want to try the new burger or the old school classic burger? The new one. All right, we're gonna try the new one first, guys, and this is from Better Burger, here's yours. As you can see, guys, it looks like there's nothing inside. And then you take a look at the American muscle and like, look at that, it's like definitely <laughs> got meat in there, you know? But, yep, yeah, uh, so first time, so cheers, man. <sighs> Smells all right, looks all right. Let's open it up. Ooh, some secret sauce in there. I hope it's just secret sauce, not extra, you know. <laughs> Okay, alright, I see you got the beef on that side, okay. Alrighty. Still looks alright that way. It's not too bad. The bun and meat ratio is really good. But, I don't know, it's just something missing, you know? Yeah, it has a bit of punch. But, the meat is still good quality meat. Like Wendy's and things have, it's like fatty. Yeah. 
That's good. That's not too bad, guys. I think I could finish that whole thing. I think I'm gonna finish that. What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna finish it. So, time lapse. <laughs> Just a side note guys, Burgerfield do have halal options at every single one of their restaurants. You just have to ask for it. They'll cook it on a separate grill. All their meats keep separate as well from any of you guys who don't eat pork or who just don't want pork in their food. In their kai. Kai. And for those who don't eat pork with their kai. You can't really say that to Maldives because they eat oil up. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately I don't anymore. It's nice though, eh? Oh, it is definitely. I love a boil up right now. <laughs> Over this burger? Yeah. Yep. What about over that burger? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your life, people. There's your life. Verdict? 2.7 out of 5. Not a bad score. Could be worse. 2.7 out of 5. I'm going to give it a... Um, and here's why. The cost is really affordable. $7 for a burger. That's not too bad compared to $15. Two patties. Yeah. That's probably a point there. Good patties. Meat to bun ratio. Very good. The buns were quite nice. Baked very well. So I'm going to give mine... Yeah, 2.7 is pretty fair. 2.7 is pretty fair. Yeah. But I'm gonna drop mine just a slight and I'll say 2.5. 2.5. So halfway there. Halfway there, guys. Alright. Alrighty. To the big boys now. That was our appetizer. We actually finished it because we were hungry boys. And we need a grill. We need that protein. We need that protein, bro. We got the big boys now and uh, I'm really excited. So out of five, I'm definitely giving this a five straight out of the bat because I already know what it's like. So 4.9. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll get on with the review. Of uh, eating fattening foods. Okay, all right. So, guys, the American Muscle Double has two patties. It has an American Muscle mustard sauce, and it has long sliced pickles like this. So, if you're not a fan of pickles, maybe just swap it out for like lettuce that or something. It's different to normal pickles, though. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not the normal pickles. They're not your normal eat. pickles. So, I get like. Fantastic. They're sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Less acidic. Yeah, yeah, not that punch. Oh gosh, base. that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how big it is, guys. Like, it's almost as big as my face. Like, actual. It's big. It's actually quite big. It's the big mama. See, I need two hands to hold this properly. And you get a wee, what are those things called? Burger Fuel give you one of these to eat with as well. It's called a doofa. It sounds pretty funny, but it actually is really handy. It stops all the, the fillings and everything falling out. It just keeps it all nice and there. All the oil is built up on the bottom, so instead of on your face, which is fantastic because when they get on your hands and you touch your face, it goes into your balls and that's how you get pimples. So guys, that's a myth by the way. Guys, we're going to get straight into it because I'm hungry and we've been waiting for like an hour because I take photos of all this, clickbait and all that sort of jazz. So uh, yeah, well, let's dive into it man, let's dive into it. He bribed me to do this with this really nice food. See, you just buy people food bro. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to attack this thing like a beast. Oh, Cue the awesome music. <laughs> You need to get one of these. How would you explain it? Well, if you're vegetarian, I don't even know why you watch this, but if you're not and you're a meat lover, this is the business. This is like biting into like, it's like a cake, but with meat and nice sauce. Yeah. Just take a geese into that. Now, if you're vegetarian, please turn away or pretend it's beans or something. That there is a burger fuel burger. Now I can say that I showed you guys. And if you work at Burger Fuel, show your bosses so they can shout me out and give me a hit. Give me a hit? What? And they can give me some free Burger Fuel or fly me out to Dubai for free. Oh, thank you. Ah, I'm disgusting, eh? So yeah, guys, that was it. That was the challenge. Um, I'm going to say Burger Fuel hands down and... Nice. <laughs> nice. It was pretty nice, yeah, it was, yeah, nice. <laughs> Sometimes it sucks being a vlogger, guys, because when I go to my friend's house and things, I have to dictate how the room, and it's their own house, and I'm like, shut up, because I'm vlogging. But in reality, I do this for you guys, because I want you to guys to hear, because I don't give a f about these guys. I care about you guys, you know? You're the one that I need. Nah, I'm just kidding, I didn't die like that, I'm not like, I'm dumb. Yeah guys, it's actually currently 3.18 in the morning and I'm still up. Yep, that's me. I'm still out here, cuz. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to work, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune in for the Auckland Food Show round two and my full review on the whole place. If you've got this far through to the vlog and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you've been doing for the last 10 minutes. Hit that now. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's the vlog. That's me. I can't get there. I know. Missing someone. I like that more than give you a hit. Oh.